Hello, this is Rob. I haven't placed any videos up for a little while. I think the last one I did was uh, looking right now, looking, looking. That's not video, not video. That was a video, but my friend posted it. Uh, last one I posted was the 19th, and today, woo, it's been over a week since I last posted any videos. So, I am just posting a video now. It's going to probably be a 19-minute video, but um, just a couple things go over. Uh, first thing is, I went to ICP. It was amazingly fun. Loved it a lot. I uh, sat down in the section for uh, handicap. So the woman was like, "Are you handicap?" Ask me all these questions. So I played it with my like my cousin does, and just fast talked and and Dan shut up. So she marked an H C onto here for handicap, even though my lower back is messed up a little bit. I pulled it like a couple of years ago, and I do wear a back brace. So she's like, "All right, just mark your HC." I'm like, "Yay!" So at the concert, it just was like amazingly awesome. And uh, Violin J actually grabbed a two liter, unopened, threw it off the stage for a handicap guy because I was pointing right here, like down here type deal for the guy to get it. Which, they're like, oh, here you go, type deal. It was so freaking awesome. It's like, most music don't care about fans. This one loves us so much. And so we got like two photos, one group, one non. And those people have gone to like everything I've gone to plus more. They're like the coolest people I've known there. Except for like a couple other people that are really awesome. There's a guy that shows up there. About 50, 60 years old. He is like really awesome. Him and I like the same things and all this cool stuff. And he's handicapped. So he has to sit there. But just really awesome. I enjoyed it. and. I don't know. I like my Juggalo family. And I hate almost everybody else except for my main general family. It's so weird. It's not that I don't hate them. I just don't like them. I almost want to just like walk over there and knock them out because they're so stupid. Stupid people are very stupid. I ran into two of them this week. So, actually not this week. Last week and this week, I was at the concert and this guy was trying to take a picture of his friends or whatever. And it was like crowded, a bunch of people, so you have to walk around. So he took a step back and hit me. And I'm like, oh, sorry. He's like, you ruined this effing picture and I'm like still walking trying to go to the bathroom so I'm like you're welcome type deal but just a couple punk people there random punk dudes it's like uh dude everybody here came to CICP mostly so you can go but um that's one the other one is Two uh, little black boys were standing outside next by uh, Burger King. So I parked my bike, locked it up, went over and, well, gave him enough time to move his freaking bike out of the way. So I opened the door and it hits his bike. He's like, what the hell? I'm like, sorry, I didn't mean to. Well, and I close the door. I'm like, you're the idiot who left your bike sitting next to the door. Where people use it. You don't want your bike to get hit? You don't do something stupid. It's like, come on. And his little black friend is like, 
getting some burgers or food for him or for him for his friend. But one bike and two skaters, so it's like and these kids were like probably about fifteen fourteen, fifteen. Out at night about like six, seven o'clock and I'm just like, shouldn't they be at home? Not getting Burger King? Bad parenting, come on. So just like okay, whatever. So it's not people, it's stupid people I don't like. And I deal with them all day. So so annoying. Smarter than box of rocks. So I figured I'd do a quick little video, throw this up and make some food because it's like 9 o'clock I have to go to bed about 12 1 so it's gonna I'm gonna be up for a little bit um the other thing is water doesn't fill me up my water glass isn't even ne anywhere near me so I You've probably seen that big water glass I have. It's like 16 or 20 ounces. I can fill that up like five, six times and does not do nothing for me. I'll drink juice, milk, whatever I get my hands on. Has no effect. I drink it. I'm still like, come on. I need something more. What the heck? Like, it doesn't do anything for me. Pop doesn't have any effect on me. It just gives me a little headache and then, oh, I'm still thirsty. So I drink it down so freaking quick that I can't get filled. That's one thing. Or another thing. Oh, here's something that you guys don't know. It's the strangest thing that occurs to me. And I'm not going to record it and show it to you because it's you don't want to see what it, what it is. Actually, I'm going to tell you about it anyways, but you're going to think this is the craziest thing ever, okay? So, give me one second. So, I eat a cereal that gives me green dark green like darker than the wall behind me green it's like almost like black green it's like so freaking green and i can't believe how green my poop can get so all i do is eat a bowl of these or two bowls of all, oops, all berries, Captain Crunches, and it has all the different colors in it and stuff, and the green one comes out the most. I could probably not use the bathroom for a, week, a couple days. When I finally do use the bathroom, it's green. Just green. It's crazy. I cannot believe it. It's crazy. I it's just mind blowing. So I can eat like all these other things. Finally, I eat a bowl of cereal, and it comes out green. Oh, next thing is, I don't care if it's a cup, if it's a more bigger than a cup or smaller than a cup or whatever. If you grind this up and into like little like like sand type deal you pour it inside all you taste is like the starch from it. it tastes so gross it's almost like like eating grits it's like with with flavor in, in it it's like ugh. And then if you leave it alone, it almost looks like applesauce afterwards. Once you drink off the milk off the top, it's like applesauce. 
It is disgusting. Like, you would not believe. It's one of the worstest things I've ate. I only did that so that my head will not be thinking about eating more Captain Crunch. Even though this is my favorite cereal, and I could eat this down in less than two weeks, I'm trying to save it. So I always do, I do something horrible with one of them, just so then I don't be like, oh, I'm craving, I'm craving it. I have that whole nasty taste in my mouth, and it's like, nope, I'm good. I'm not, I'm not eating anymore. No siree, babaroonie. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, don't want it. So it lasts for a little bit longer. But that was the other thing. My sister uh, got the tickets, or I mean not the ticket, but the uh, registered for like 100 or so dollars for five people for Wisconsin Dells. So for November, it's going to be this just me. It's going to be the Mocking Jay, November 21st, my birthday, Wisconsin Dells. For two days. And after that. Thanksgiving and all that other good stuff. So. I'm happy. I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. I get all these other birthdays. And then mine. And my nephew's like right in between my sister and I, closer to me, but I don't know. That kid's cool. He says the weirdest, funniest things ever. I really like it. Never grew attached to a kid until he was born. And like a year or two later, I'm just like attached to him type deal. And then. After that, it was like, so weird. I'm waiting for this dumb clock to go off, sorry. So my friend came over here, and he actually left because he said, yeah, this clock keeps me up. It goes off every 15 minutes to an hour of ding, ding, ding. He actually told me that. He actually said he doesn't like sleeping over on my couch because of my clock. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like it either. I just got to put up with it because that's my parents' clock. If it was up to me, that thing wouldn't be here. It would be probably downstairs, buried away. Or it would be good to keep me warm for a couple minutes. Seriously. I don't like it. It's hard to have conversations with something going off in the background. But, um... So, yeah, he told me that. Um... Uh, work tomorrow, so yay. Um... <sighs> so I'm watching every new show that came on uh, Netflix now. I'm addicted. But I don't like to finish some of them because then it's like, it's over. It's like, now what? So I'm like, I have like five, ten things that I need to finish, but I'm just holding off on it. Um, Could have been with, done with my chip and dip by now, but oh well. I'll be eating that shortly after I do this video for you people. So, I had a few people blocked on there so they won't see my videos. I only have one person because he can still, he's married to the person I work with. And I don't want anything to leak out to her or she's going to be like, to the whole freaking world. 
about what I said. She already did it more than once. So yeah, um, she won't take me as a friend, so I don't have to worry about blocking her to make sure she doesn't see my stuff. So it's pretty much open now for almost anybody to see my stuff, but I do like to keep it private in case if it does come back to bite me in the butt. I don't know if it will, but I'm pretty sure it won't. won't. But just to make have a good chance. But yeah. Um what else? So I don't play cards anymore. Any type of poker or anything. I do like playing blackjack. That's the only one I do like because I do win a lot of money. But like Texas Hold'em, I don't care for it. And my reason why I don't like to play poker and all that stuff is the old me, I used to be all happy and thrilled because I won. And I actually was like thrilled to play it. And then I played it long enough with these other people that came over and they're all like, you can't be happy, you can't show emotion, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't blah, blah, blah. So every time I win, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, it killed the whole spirit in me to play cards. So I don't really care for it. I don't really pay attention to it. I don't really do anything with it. So, I like to play to win. I like to play, like, bowling. I don't play to compete against myself. I do sometimes, just for the heck of it. I compete to be the person that I'm playing against. And they don't like that. They're all like, you can't do that. You can't me, 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 me. So I'm like, I am done. I'm out of that. So I don't play poker or anything like that. If I can play it that way to win, to feel good, to be like, yes, I beat you. I'd be like, yes. But not around them. Sucked up the whole fun. I don't even like to play it now. So. Uh, what else? Oh. <sighs> Man, so. Yeah. Thing went in disco for. 19 minute video um people don't reply back on my videos that i post anymore so it's hard for me to think about new things that to talk about and i've been off of my main facebook page the one i set up for my friends and family because i got hooked on to pot farm from a buddy of mine which I'm at like level 101 now. And that's all that's been in my head. That I've been thinking about lately. So. It's too fun to play. Apparently I can do a like 3 or 4 hour video. And post it onto YouTube. And then from there move it over. But one video I can't get over to here yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. So. That's what's up with me. Uh, so I think I covered most of the things that was on my mind. Um, I don't know. Not very much else to, else to say. The things I want to buy, I have, it's on hold because my mom's like debating about it. Even though I am old enough to buy that stuff. She's just like, yeah, hesitant. So, if I lived on my own, I would purchase my own thing. So, it's a plus and a minus. But I'm going to eat some chip and dip now. Thanks for listening. Have a good one. See you later. Adios. Bye-bye.